Pepper, the robot, is a four foot high customer. Man, a four foot. <laughs> four foot high. No, oh, no, it's not a four foot high customer. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's a four foot high customer. <laughs> customer service. It's not like yeah. a four foot person who's really high. Is it? No, is no. It? <laughs> it's not like a stone four foot person. Let's just oh, get man. that out of the way. No. Okay? Uh, so this four foot tall customer service robot spent last week greeting customers at the BATA tech store in San Francisco. The robot is programmed to talk with customers, follow voice commands, and read human emotions to judge how to react. Too bad every time I look at this thing, I want to run away in fear. So what's the deal with this robot? Do we know anything more about it? it I don't like the way it looks. It looks like it's like scared of me and humans, and I would probably I mean, kick imagine it in the walking face. into a Walmart or similar department store, and this is who you'll see. And this past week in San Francisco, that tech store, that's what was happening. So, so and what was the reaction? Like, I know Lexi's there. What did she say about it? Uh, I, the, the, more, the videos I saw only explained it, what it does, and that it's able to gauge human reaction. Hmm. And what so, if it's doing shake off, really awkward, what is that? It's if just it's gyrating. Like, presumably, sort of... if it if it senses you're angry, maybe it'll dance to try to calm you down mm -hmm. or direct Smack you out of the kid. store. Yeah. I don't know how well, I don't wind up kicking this. Thing. I once worked at Macy's for holiday help. Yeah, and uh, there were definitely a couple times where you wanted a robot. <laughs> you wish a robot wish could deal with people. A robot could have, like, I could have folded the clothes while the robot would have talked to a couple of people. Right, the robot's got endless amounts of patience. Or the other way around, I guess, if the robot could fold the clothes and then right. I could deal with the people. Right, okay, all right. Especially yeah. if they're like high stress levels, high stress, high levels of stress while holiday shopping. Right. The, uh, but it's interesting to see how more and more robots could take over jobs more and more. It, it's interesting and I guess cosmically depressing mm -hmm. because I don't is know. It? Well, it not, I know this is not a serious show, but I think like 15, 20 years from now, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I be, well, I believe we had a conversation prior to us starting where maybe you would have liked to have had a robot at the counter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Maybe a robot could work on the mail system <laughs> that's failing. Yeah. So Humans can't go. be trusted. Yeah. Sometimes robots gotta be. Gotta Maybe be a robot would have known where your package was. Maybe a robot <laughs> wouldn't have lost my package after I handed it to him or it. It. Yeah. Imagine telling a robot that a robot waiter or waitress that it got your order wrong. I'm sorry, the meat isn't cooked well enough. Let me take <laughs> it back, or just like allow me to zap it with my ray <laughs> or something like that. That's a different future. Oh, right. Jeff. I keep That's, getting it mixed up. Yeah. Hey, Mike, do we have any other comments in the chat room? Yeah. Uh, a few people were commenting on the robot. Uh, mm -hmm. Brian said it reminds him of the Jetsons. Yeah. Uh, Rosie. It's got a little bit of Rosie. Out. Yeah. 